everyone, it's Carla from Casey Creates. Um, I'm here because I have a couple things I want to share with you. Um, one is I the last couple times I did a video, I had this off to the side to uh, share with you um, a little thank you from uh, Jacqueline Haley, Hand of the Queen. And every time I finished the video, I looked off to the side and I forgot to recognize it. And I just wanted to say thank you, Jacqueline. I absolutely love this sweet embellishment um, album that you made. And it's um, so generous of you to send these out to everyone. She had a really successful um, challenge and it was her first challenge. And so many of you did little VRs just acknowledging them and I wanted to do that too. So I won't read the note, but it's basically just saying um, thank you for the support of her challenge. And then she um, added some beautiful images um, and a little bit of um, ephemera. And then these are clear pages that we can store ephemera and tags and things in so that's going to be oh sorry for all that glare i wasn't even looking so that's going to be really helpful um to help me stay organized which is not my strong point <laughs> so thank you so much miss jacqueline i really appreciate it it was really fun creating for your challenge um, and I'm so glad it was successful for you. Then yesterday, I received in the mail a package all the way from Australia. And it is from Char Fisher because I was one of the lucky ones to win one of her journals from her challenge giveaway, which was um, we sent a page a four size page um, for her to create journals and if you haven't seen her completed journals you need to go to Char Fisher's um, YouTube channel she finished hers and they are gorgeous I did a similar challenge and I have to say those journals that I was able to compile um, are some of my most prized treasures I'm just so happy to have um, work from individual crafters, you know, that I can keep as um, keepsakes and treasure for a long, long time. And so it's a really fun challenge idea. Anyway, this is the package. And Char, it did get here. There's, oh, it took so long. I think Char posted this, I'm going to say November 30th or just, no, it was maybe longer ago. But anyway, the mail from Australia to the States seemed to take forever. Oh, Char, there's more in here than a journal. Thank you so much. Anyway delivery was yesterday I could not wait I was very very excited to receive it finally and thank you for going to the trouble of putting tracking on it because I started wondering myself and actually decided to check the tracking number yesterday and found out it was going to be delivered yesterday so that was a nice surprise look at this it's beautifully packaged I love the shabby fabric ribbon you used that's going to be wonderful to reuse and then here's a card let's open it nice little merry christmas tag it says merry christmas merry holly jolly christmas oh that's a really sweet photo dear carla merry christmas and a happy new year Here's your prize from my 300 plus subby challenge. Thank you for your beautiful pages and helping to make my challenge a success. Please enjoy this journal and I appreciate your support. Have a wonderful festive season and see you in 2020. Love and warm hugs, Char. Oh, that's sweet. Look at that teeny little Santa. <laughs> that's adorable. Thank you, Char. I will add that card to my Christmas collections and 
I believe that's the journal. She did a detailed uh, flip through on her channel that made me so happy that I was one of the winners when I saw the journal. But she's an amazing crafter. So all of her journals are gorgeous. Even this envelope is created so beautifully. Look at that. It's the eyelash trim and the really pretty holly leaves. And a tiny little Merry Christmas ribbon. It's beautiful. Open me. Oh, it's filled with ephemera and tags. Look at this gorgeous lined envelope. It's paper stitched envelope. Oh, that's beautiful. And inside, she has tucked several things. Another one that says, open me. Carefully open it. Let's see what's in there. Oh, how pretty. I love that vintage angel. Oh, it's a tiny little notebook. Oh, that is really sweet. Love that. So this is probably things I can tuck in the journal. Look at these tags. So pretty. Oh, these are gorgeous. Really heavy, nice, sturdy tags. That's beautiful. She's put some glossy accents, it looks like, and beautiful glitter. I love these vintage Christmas images. I really do. Oh, look at that one. So pretty. These are beautiful. Oh, and look. Clips. And she's antiqued them. I want to show you without the glare of the plastic. I don't know if I can get them out right now. I'm going to try. little piece of washi and will I or won't I get them out is the question oh okay it's the other side so I'll just leave them in and hope you can see they are antiqued so they're sort of rusted I love that makes it very authentic vintage when they're kind of rusted like that so clips for the journal, so I will definitely clip the beautiful tags and things inside with these. And then there's one more little envelope, <clears throat> excuse me, and it says Journal Ephemera. And there's another sweet little Santa tag. I'm going to try to open without ripping it. I got it. There we go. Wow, it's full. Thank you so much, Char. Oh, and look, there's a wax seal with a crown. That's beautiful. And another one of these really sweet notebooks. I love this paper. This is like a newsprint lined paper. Looks like the paper we used to write on in elementary school, which would make it vintage. <laughs> Not really, I'm not sure I'm that old, but anyway, that's really a pretty little notebook. I can't wait to stuff all this in. I love gingham. I just love it. And this is such a vibrant, fun play on color. There's a sweet little Christmas tree charm. And I love vintage Santas. Look at these tags. They're gorgeous. Oh, Char, these are beautiful images. I love them. These are going to look great in the journal. Look at these. The circle tag. And she's distressed the edges with an ink dump. And inside this pretty envelope, there's another vintage Santa tag. Love, love, love. And another vintage image of a sweet little girl. And there's a pretty, like, 
natural Christmas tree. Rustic, I should say. Hello, winter. Look at this tag. I love how you've got this tea staining on the back. And there's this one. There's always room for sparkle. I love that sparkly fiber trim. Very pretty. Look at this image. She's pondering. It's a little angel, I think. Looking with the wonder of Christmas in her eyes. Oh, that's a beautiful script. And then this angel. Oh, look at angel looking down over the baby. Sweet. These are wonderful tags. Thank you. Look at this one. How gorgeous. Wow, I don't know if you printed these yourself, but they just are so vivid and pretty. Oh, I love this one. Look. These are gorgeous. Book paper on the back and some vintage lace trim for the tab. And then one more angel. This one right here. These are gorgeous. So I will really have fun taking my time and placing these in the journal. I'm still just so excited that I won. And it did take a while to get here, but it was well worth the wait. And still plenty of time till Christmas. Actually, one week from today. I hope you all are having a good holiday season. It's been a little bit of an emotional roller coaster for us. But still enough reason to be joyful and celebrate the season. I cannot wait to open this. I'm sorry for the noise. I'm gonna... One second, I'll pause it and open it. So this is the beautiful, beautiful Christmas journal that Char made. She's just so talented. And you see these on the video and I just, I'm intrigued and mesmerized by the layering and all the different elements of decoration she can sneak in there. There's a filigree metal piece tucked under there. Um, and I love when you add the corrugated cardboard. I just started trying to do that. There's paper doily and music note paper and beautiful vintage script and tags. And then of course this lovely image. And this is the back. It looks like she's distressed the uh, paper, but it's like a wood grain paper with script, maybe some gesso. Oh, look, I think, I do believe I remember this is a pocket. Yeah, it's like sheer tool, but it's definitely a nice little pocket back there. Vintage trim, very, very pretty. And then not to mention this gorgeous, gorgeous tassel with the um, seam binding and organza ribbon and eyelash trim and pom-pom trim. It's just loaded with fun things. A little uh, wood star and jingle bells. Oh look, it's removable too. It's got a little lobster claw there. This is very nice, Char. And then it opens here. Oh, it's a clip. How clever is that? I haven't seen one that way. Oh, look at this. It is so pretty. So these have wonderful pockets and tuck spots that I'll be able to stick all of her beautiful ephemera in. So I won't do that now, but I'll just flip through it and show you. It's actually nicer this way because you can see without all the ephemera the beautiful stained paper and aged look that it has. And it's got this beautiful gold leaf stamp. 
in another really nice pocket. I will use one tag just to indicate where the pockets are. So you can see, look at this pretty book paper. I think it's dictionary. Circuit breaker. <laughs> okay, believe in the magic of Christmas. Oh, that's funny because look, I'm drinking coffee and it says believe on the front. I love that saying for Christmas. And this is beautiful. Some little strips of washi. Like a little damask, really tiny print there. And a wreath stamp. This paper is gorgeous. How you got all that beautiful coloring with the green and the pink. These are all my favorite vintage colors. Oh, and look at this. Look at this pretty pretty strip of fabric in the center. Can you see that? I think it's either roses or holly leaves, but perfect Christmas colors. Oh, that is so pretty. I knew I was going to love looking at this up close and all the details. There's a little pocket there. I love that there's lines on this little framed piece here. You can journal on. There's a little um, ruched, ruffled piece of that pretty fabric. More of this beautiful dyed paper. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Love it. Angel image and the braided trim. It's a little sweet Christmas boot charm. I am very blessed to own this. These are beautiful. Look at that piece of gingham fabric. Pretty. You just use just the right touch of everything, Char, to make it so charming. Look at this little floral piece. See, look at that sweet little touch of gingham fabric. Oh, I love this little piece here. Look at that vintage trim and more layering oh my goodness this is so cool love this yeah I'm gonna use that inspiration of just the little teeny tear offs of, of layered washi and this is a flip up and it's got lines so you can journal Hope I'm not missing any details. Ooh, that's a gorgeous piece of paper. Can you see the texture on there? Beautiful. I love this. With it's probably to depict the wise men in the distance. Love that. Oh, look how pretty. This dyed piece of doily. It's all splattered and pretty. And then again on the inside. She's got like this ticking fabric in the seam again. That's pretty. Oh, this is gorgeous. Wow, such a generous gift for a prize. There's some more beautiful fabric trim. Another pretty vintage label with an angel joy and happiness some more of the little cluster of fabric with the ticking and the gingham this is all things I absolutely love I love pattern mixing I love the natural looking paper look this is a vellum pocket so whatever you put in there you'd be able to see through I like the way vellum sounds and more layering and a flip here and a pretty little look at that see that little special touch of sequins right there how fun is that hope you guys don't mind I'm just really enjoying this I hope I have it so that you can see it too three snowflake stamps another little 
snippet of washi. Look at this fun piece. Pom pom trim over some more pretty washi. So she's got so many little embellishments which make way for lots of journaling. So it's just the right touch of embellishment so that you can still journal. And you know I might even start using this journal because we have a week until Christmas. Love this. Look at that. So, so pretty. Almost looks like eco dyed paper. Another little ruched piece of that pretty fabric. Another tuck spot. And sadly, I'm coming to the end. <laughs> but it sure is gorgeous. This is one I will definitely revisit many times and probably see something new each time. I love that little piece there. You are loved. There's another little piece of washi. You must have tons of different types of washi tape. There's another piece of that pretty note, music note vellum. And here's a sweet little glassine bag that I can put some of her ephemera in. I don't know what that says. I... I don't know, but anyway, it's beautiful. Really, really pretty. Look at this. This gorgeous paper. That's another page. Some French script here. And then another one of the vellum pockets in this beautiful embellishment. Look at the bow. That's super pretty. She's layered it with a doily and some tulle. It's really a fun layered piece. And the little believe tag with the rusty pen. That is so pretty, Char. Thank you. And then the last, there's another stamped piece on book paper that she's aged and put Christmas tree stamps. Love the darkness of that. And then a side pocket here. I'm glad it says crafted by Char. Well, guys, go over to Char's channel. I will leave a link in the description box. Um, she just is an amazing crafter. I think she's well over 300 subbies now especially after her great little giveaway she had. Oops, the bell is in the way and I need to open the clip. There we go. And it just clips on here nicely, like so. I love this. But thanks if you hung in there and watched all of it with me. I was just really fascinated to go through it page by page. I thought you might like to see it with me. I'm going to enjoy putting all of these wonderful pieces of ephemera in. And thank you so much, Char, for sending this all the way to the United States. I'm very blessed to be the um, fortunate owner of one of your wonderful pieces of art. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you again soon. Bye.